Here's, the, here's Elon Musk going back and forth with booty juice. It's real. Booty juice. No one is shutting down the airspace. Um, We just said they are. They are shutting down the air, airspace. Pete Booty Juice, not just for Biden's arrival yesterday, which you're talking about shutting down. Wouldn't you, as a president, be caring? If you were, if it was you, if it was you and you were responding to Appalachian, all these people are dead, babies are dead, grandparents are dead, moms and dads are dead, lots of people are dead. People are estimating this to reach into the hundreds of deaths. Lots, there's, there, you don't want to listen to every rumor, but there's lots of calls for body bags, but I hear that rumor every time, so I don't want to listen to it. But if you, were, if you were Biden yesterday and you're like, well, wait, by me flying in and doing a flyover, is that going to cause all these rescue missions to stop and all the drones to come out of the sky? Um, yes. Okay, you know what? I'm going to park. Fly me down to, let's say, um, somewhere in South Carolina, and I'm, gonna fly, I'm just going to drive up there, and I'll meet with everybody. And then you don't have to fly over and stop rescue efforts. But instead, Biden decides he's going to he's going to shut down rescue efforts for four, five, six hours. Imagine if you were dying of thirst, and somebody tells you, or or you know what, you're about to drop dead because you haven't had insulin. You're about to drop dead because all your insulin rotted away because you can't get ice. And here comes Joey Biden in Air Force One, where he's basically living in the Ritz Carlton in the air and flies over. I mean, this is, this is the country that we live in that Joe Biden would rather be comfortable than people live. Kamala Harris would rather be comfortable than people living. She would rather have people die than, be, than have any measure of discomfort in her life as a bourgeois globalist leftist elitist. So here's Booty Juice actually confronts Elon Musk on Twitter. No one is shutting down the airspace and FAA doesn't block legitimate rescue. Oh, wait a minute. Legitimate rescue and recovery. Efforts. Oh, this is the same thing they do with legitimate media. Unless you agree with them, you're not legitimate media, so you're not allowed in interview spaces. That's what they always do. Legitimate rescue, which has to be FEMA, but FEMA has no apparatuses on the ground to conduct rescue missions. Unless you're legitimate, which would be FEMA, which has no vehicles anywhere to rescue anybody. So you know what? Maybe you'll be able to do a legitimate rescue mission using a FEMA helicopter 14 days from now when they finally get there. And again, why hasn't the 82nd Airborne been deployed? We deploy them all over the world to help other people. Why are they not deployed in the United States? Four hours from their base. Some people say two hours from the base. Why? Why? It's almost as if they want these people to die. I've seen, I've seen it on the chat, talking about BlackRock's ownership of lithium rights in the air. I get it. I'm not listening. I used to, five years ago, I'd shrug that off. Not anymore. Yeah. Not anymore. Not, not, not watching Joe Biden uh, put out uh, a fiat of, no, of, of, of eviction moratorium. And so that all of the uh, middle class to upper middle class landlords are run out of business because they can't evict people. And then BlackRock's right there to scoop up the properties they default on the mortgage that is on. There's, there's uh, you know, the, the, the guy who's you know, worth $250,000 that he owns a couple houses and he rents them out. And Joe Biden puts out an eviction moratorium during COVID because of this existential threat to all of our lives. Nobody can leave their house even though you catch COVID in your own house. So he puts out an eviction moratorium so nobody can evict any of these lazy slugs that refuse to work. Well, you know what? If you're somebody who's a middle-class landlord, you're making the mortgage payments based on the rent that you're getting on those houses. Well, BlackRock doesn't have to worry about that, so all these guys have end up having their houses repossessed. And guess who repossesses them? BlackRock, who owns the banks. And it's very strange that BlackRock has a substantive financial interest in the exact area that this storm rampaged. Weird. Weird how it always seems to work out for BlackRock. Hmm. Weird. A major Democratic Party contributor.